All right, guys, check it out. Got something in the mail finally from Banggood. It has been 40 something days, possibly. <laughs> Anyway, let's see if I can set this camera up and open this thing up for y'all. Man, no, that's not going to work. All right. Well, that's work. Let's see. Yeah, I can hold it. Okay. Okay. Axles, finally. It's supposed to be pretty decent. Um, have never used them, but about to. Well, they feel pretty heavy. They look pretty nice. They are plastic, composite, whatever you want to say. Oh, and of course, it is pretty hard to turn. Huh? Not bad, man. I guess I might pull them open and uh, put some grease in them. Oh, jeez, man. This sucker right here. Now, there was a couple of reviews on that, but they were stiff. All right, so let me uh, turn this off and get y'all back on. And... Uh, I'll take them apart and we'll see what's wrong with them. All right, that's about as good as I'm gonna be able to do. My stand broke the other day, so I'm kind of having to rig it up. It comes with a nice little bag of hardware. I got some uh, drilled rotors that go on there for a line lock. I guess they're plastic, wouldn't work really. But like all the rest of the people were saying, you could probably put metal ones on there and actually use them. I don't see why you couldn't. Anyway, we'll get to that too. So, need to figure out what's going on with this. So, I've never worked on these, so it might take me. <laughs> glasses so I can't see what size it is I don't have my glasses of course those are going to be the big ones okay so the make this part I'm sure I'm going to have to take off the end So anyway, I hope it's nothing bad. I just hope it needs grease and maybe there's a shim too tight, something. I'd have to have to send these back. <laughs> It'd probably take a month and a half, two months to get there. Another two or three months to get back. Yeah, no, it'd be a year before I get them. This ain't even worth it.
So if you guys like my videos, click a like, or even if you don't like it, but put a comment down there, let me know. Let me know how I'm doing. I'm new to this. Uh, I can always get better. So that's what I'm here for. Hopefully I can bring y'all some good videos. So more than likely I'm gonna have to take off those end pieces and steering knuckles. So they'll come apart. But I figured that. It's not the hour feels like the shaft is jammed into the knuckle, no? This feels really tight for some reason. I don't know. Maybe that means that. Huh. It's inside. It's still tight. Yes, I usually go by memory. I do pretty good sometimes. I don't see that right there. That's tight too. That ain't nothing but a little bit of following. So, yeah, dog, man. Yeah, I don't even want to turn. Sad. Nope. Not supposed to be that sad. Just want to make sure when I go back together, it's exactly the same. So if I have to send it back, I can't say nothing. Okay. Now nah, it come apart. Sorry, I just ain't never done one of these. <laughs> It'll be okay. Like I said, I get better. I used to be a mechanic, about 15 years, professional shop. Um, it was okay for a while, but it turned into a job. And I just couldn't stand it no more, bumping my knuckles, people telling me what to do, controlling how much I make. Yeah. Just got old. So now I run my own business. I have a construction business. Not rich. I do okay for what it is. But uh, by no means do I get rich. I'm, I'm an honest man. So I don't gouge anybody. I give decent prices. And I have reoccurring customers. Oh, I dropped something. Dang it. That it. Married, I have a wife. 15 years married. And uh, I'll tell you about that too. <laughs> it's not perfect. You gotta work at it. So, anybody that, you know, thinks it's like Hollywood, it's not. Trust me. You know, to some people, 15 years ain't a long time, but for me, it is. Ah, I have a hidden screw. I told you I needed my glasses. <laughs> ah. Sorry, guys. Anyway, we're going to find out what's wrong with this thing. 
Oh man, look at that. This comes apart so much easier. <laughs> Pretty smooth there. See that wrong there. Looks pretty smooth there. So, what's the problem here? Are these bearings look in the right place. Huh. Maybe not. That one ain't. Hmm. Could that be it? Just a bag? In a place? Well, that would be cool. Oh. Not better. By no means perfect, but man. All right. So bearing was out of place. So note that if you get these axles from Banggood, take them apart and check them. I'm not gonna put grease in them. I like the grease that's in them. It looks pretty good. So, uh, we're going to leave it. All right. I may have to go back to this video. Nope, because the shots are on the same side. That's the axial. Uh, link, sorry. Stupid guy for a minute. Okay. Let's put this thing back together. And every screw is the same length, so we're good. Ooh, maybe that little sound is hitting right there. Let's see if we can get that one. Nope. It's working. Oh, yeah, really easy. Cool. <laughs> get off. Yeah, I did do it, didn't I? Nope, I did it right. No. <sighs> Fumbly fingers. Anyway, you know what? I know better than that. Won't do that no more. I'm gonna check every screw. When it goes back in, make sure that it's not the screw pinching something. And the screw stripped out. I didn't even turn it. Oh, y'all saw that. I don't know. Ah, there it is right there. That's screw. So why is that? This stuff's built. Man. Yeah, it's right there. That's where it's mining up. Them screws. I guess something in the plastic is either enlarged or tweaked. So when you screw it down tight, it pinches it off. But these screws right here feel like they set hard enough anyway that uh, you can put them in and not have to put them in all the way. And it will still hold together and not vibrate out. 
But I will be testing it. <laughs> see, that's another screw stripped up. Uh, y'all can see that. I ain't even putting no pressure on Y'all know if y'all use a screwdriver like this, you can't really put no pressure unless you bind up on it. So, either the machine stripped them out when they put them together, or somebody has had this set of axles and used them. Yeah, see, that's not too bad. I just don't like that, man. Hmm. Maybe I should have spun the shaft around. Anyway, I might do that later. I don't want to get this back together for y'all. So, this one is really stiff in there. It's got some burrs in there, that's what it is. And I don't like the fact that they don't have no bushings. And the steering just have a, a collared bolt that goes in there. Oh, the axle stuff has a uh, bushing copper. I like that system better. This right here tends to wear out and then your screw wears out. And then you have to get another one and it don't fit in there. And yeah. Let's see. It's tight, man. You have to leave it loose. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it would hold. We'll see. Like I said, I'll be testing it. So. Yeah, I recommend if you get these, take them apart, fully go over them, make sure that, uh, yeah, see, that's too tight. That's why I like the sleeves, because with this, all you have is an adjustment, and once the bolt wears out or the hole wears out, it's done, you can't adjust it anymore. Loctite. No, I'll go back and Loctite all this stuff. I'm just antsy to try it out. So, there it is. And I'm sure that, uh, well, actually that one's working. So good. Good deal. Alrighty. All right, guys, I've looked at them real good. And uh, I mean, I like the way they're built and stuff. They're pretty tough, but they do have some issues. Uh, I'm gonna have to go in here and find out where it's pinching all this down, which I imagine it's right around all these bearings and these gears. I did have to swap the drive uh, output shaft over the other way because they have this two flat sides that was on the inside and mine takes a full round so I imagine you want to do that but at the same time that reverses the direction of the differential so in other words instead of spinning this way to go forward now you have to spin it the other way to go forward so not a big deal. A lot of people just have to turn their transmission around. And some of you can do it by switching the radio. Either or. But, like I said, I chose to go with the round shaft. 
versus this flat shaft because I don't trust that. I did get some new pins that I do like and uh, they are long grommet screw pins that go through the shaft instead of just bumping up against the hole. These will hold a whole lot better. I don't know if you can see what that is, but that's what I got. So, anyway, uh, sorry there's not more, but uh, I'm going to figure out a way to put them on the axial. I have to build a top mount for my link rods, and I'm probably going to have to put my servo tray back in for the other setup, which is this that goes inside of here. So, because there's no mount for the uh, servo, and I'm not gonna try to build one or hot glue it. And then that's too tall already, it needs to go up there, so that's what I'm gonna do. So anyway, I uh, will have more for you when I figure out what I'm gonna do. Later.